That is truly one of the creepiest things I've ever seen, Beverly. That's me, that is. I don't bloody believe this. Look back to yesterday's video. That's not snow out there, that's frost everywhere. There's Duncan down there doing his car. It's so bad this morning, I've had to check the uni website to see if it's still open, there's no notices, so we've still got to go in for 10 o'clock. And look at the sky, it's like a fog is right over the top of us, but we can see quite clearly a few hundred yards. Are you ready for university sexy pets? Mm, I am. I'm not. No doubt that we're going to be late this morning, going to have to defrost the car. That's about as de-iced as I'm going to get it, just chuck some cold water over it. And if you're thinking about doing that, make sure the car's running, make sure the air conditioning's on, and make sure you get in the car quickly soon afterwards, otherwise it'll freeze over again and ruin your car. It's gonna be dangerous out today. I just poured that water on there. It's slippy and icy here already. You enjoying this? Actually, I am. Yeah, I am too. It's quite nice and white out. Actually, the windscreen's never been so clear. I hope I don't slip and slide everywhere. We've got a wet printing workshop with Ian today, that's if he's in. I suspect that not many people are going to be there because of all this frost. England and the East Country might have got all the snow and stuff, but we feel cheated because we didn't get any days off, so I think everyone's going to take what they can get. I've got to say though, that is beautiful. The trees have turned white from frost. Wow, I've seen that before in Canada. I've had more fiber gigs ordered overnight, surprise, surprise, but I changed the wait list to five days from three now. It was a bit difficult having to do them so soon after they were ordered. Wow, Colleen is really white too. I want to stop and get out of my camera and take some pretty little photos, but I ain't got time. I was able to park really close to the uni. Let's hope it doesn't freeze over by the time we come out. And I've got my monstrous bag on me, seeing as we're going to be printing all day. And I thought it was girls that were meant to have big bags, not boys. There is nobody down here, just us three. I wonder if the workshop's going to carry on today. Beverly's found a load of lost negatives. Are you going to steal them? I would. <laughs> now, if we do have a workshop today, we'll be working on black and white prints and learning to develop them ourselves using the wet room process, I think. Yeah, it looks like the workshop's on. Amy and Claire are here as well as us. We've got to work in this red room, doing our 5-4 negatives. That's what I'm working on first, picture of Bev's face. <laughs> what are you printing? Face face. <laughs> Ian's turned the lights on, we're going to learn how to use the wet room stuff. Well, this is fun. Ian seems to be really, really knowledgeable on this stuff and he's teaching us all sorts of tricks and lessons. And I know I've been doing photography for years, but I've never actually seen the pictures appear on the paper in this wet room process. And it's also quite nice to be able to see in here, unlike the coloured dark greens where it's pitch black. Whoa, look how creepy is that? That's Bev's face. <laughs> Bev, are you a little spooked out by your face? Yes. Gah! Bright light! We're in the light room to check out the print. She's printing me, you see. <laughs> anyway, it's lunchtime. I don't care about photography at the moment. I need food. You want to come upstairs for food? Oh, yeah. Hey, look who's come to join us. He just appears like Lloyd does. He's one of them people. <laughs> I am pretty freaking hungry. Anthony, did Betsy come home last night? Oh. Where is she? I think she's still at home. I think she got drunk with all the hairstylists and models. Oh, uh, do you blame her? Oh. Anthony's girlfriend, Betsy, the model, she went to London yesterday for this super Birmingham. fashion show or something yeah, like that. Um, Birmingham, not London. Oh, sorry, Birmingham, not London. Silly me. I wonder what the vegetarian option is today. There's quite a long queue. Is this the vegetarian one? Yes. Okay, may I have some of that, please? Yes, Sweet bean chilli stuff with rice and chips. I had to get extra chips because this didn't look substantial enough. Finished, didn't eat my greens though, and Anthony has turned into Claire. Hi Claire. Hiya. We've got until half past one, then we go back down into the dark room to learn some more stuff from the master printer that is Ian. Can you tell me something? Is my beard getting too long? Should I shave it? I'm thinking about shaving it. What do you want me to do? Wax it. <laughs> Babe, if I wax it, it'll tear my face off and just reveal bone. Don't wax it. Hmm, 12 boost and a double decker. There we go. Hey, how are you doing, all right? Not bad. Hiya! I didn't get you any chocolate, but I got you a double decker. I don't know. But Claire, I got you these weird skittle things because they're really friggin' horrible looking, crazy sours, and you can share them out. And for you? 12. <laughs> how are the skittles, Claire? Nice, thank you. Meh! <laughs> 
we're going to go back down and do some more dark wet room printing or whatever. Brr, it's cold down here. I need to get my brain alert because we're learning a hell of a lot of stuff down here. I wish I had more negatives to work with really. Second round of printing's going really, really well. I've worked on Beverly's face again. It's coming out nicely. It's a bit dark in here. You can just about see it in the walker. See how nice and contrasty it's come out. Look at this one Claire's doing a Sarah Cooley. It looks so cool. She's doing it on museum style paper. It's just the three of us and Ian left in now and I'm still working on Beverly's face. I'm having a lot of fun doing your face. We have done loads of prints down here, which you can't really see, I don't think. Yeah, I can. You can just about see the three that I've done of Beverly so far and there's one more that's in here. I have no idea what I'm doing here, but Ian would go absolutely mad if he knew I was exposing paper in the developer underneath the enlarger. Is it any surprise that we're waiting for Bev to finish so we can go home? She's been doing pictures of me. Really strange and eerie ones. Can you even make out what that is? Oh, it's upside down. <gasps> How scary is that? I look like something out of a Ghostbusters 2 painting. <laughs> That is truly one of the creepiest things I've ever seen, Beverly. That's me, that is. Are we all done in here for the day? What's the time? It's about four o'clock, isn't it? Half bloody four. It's gonna be dark outside already. What a shame, we've been dark all day, now dark in the evening. However, I've had a lot of fun in it. I'm definitely gonna come back in it. It's called like wet room, dark, black and white printing. It's fantastic, you've got so much control over your images and uh, you can do archival stuff and that. I know we can't see you two girls. If I move around, I probably can, but what did you think? We loved it. You liked it too? Yes. We've just signed out. Ah, me eyes, it's so bright. It would be rather nice if it's still light up there, but I know from my new iPad application that the sun has already set. If you've got no idea what I'm talking about, it was on yesterday's vlog, so go back and watch it. Yeah, look at that. Horrible out here. The trees have gone all white. Isn't that bloody beautiful? This is frost crystals that have grown on it. Wow! That is bloody amazing. They're like, oh, they just peel off if you just tap them. It's actually crystals that have grown. That is one of the most beautiful winter things I've ever seen in Great Britain. Absolutely gorgeous. I feel like I need to stay here and take photos. There's a spider web up there frozen. Wow! Every single tree around here is like it. I'm overwhelmed with happy Christmassy prettiness. It's too much. Beverly Gemma, come on! Sure. Oh, I'm pleased the car's not frozen. Right, Miss Mason, I want to go home. I want to have a nice cup of hot chocolate. Then I want to go back out to the cinema. Yay. I don't know what we're going to see yet, though, but I just really want to go because I love the cinema. Tell me something, YouTube. Is this the darkest vlog that I've ever done so far? It's like we live up in the Baltics, further north than that maybe. Iceland, I don't know. Do you sometimes hear that beeping in the car? That's when I'm not wearing a seatbelt, so tell me off, please. Bev's having a little look at movie times. What do you want to see? Uh, maybe The Warrior's Way. We're going to get some of the wheat from Sainsbury's, or Ainsbury's, because the S is out, look. Ah, uh, you probably can't see this, but the S is an actual Shrek S sign, you know, so it's been covered over. What are we going to get? I want a cheese and onion pie. Oh, what are we going to have? It's pretty busy here. Cheese! Olives, meat, no fangs, Indian. I spy me some mature cheddar and tomato tartlets. So we're gonna have four of them and the spinach and ricotta one, please. How bleeding much are you buying these? We've opted for some stuffed peppers and stuffed olives as well. Mm. So what have we got? We've got pie tartlets, milk, olives, peppers, eggs, savoury eggs, and satsuma tangerine things, clementines. What is the difference between a clementine, a tangerine, and a satsuma? It's like one of life's mysteries. <gasps> Costing loads. 18 bloody quid. Not only do I get fat, I get poor as well. It's like frigging gorillas in the mist here. Eh? So much for me sticking around university getting some of my aura prints done anyway. And I can't really do it tomorrow either because we've got poker all evening. And by the way, don't forget, tomorrow is the final of the poker. Week 8 and the champion of champions table. Jamie Deal in the back, me, Chris Dapps, Ben and a few others are guaranteed positions. We're not sure about Beverly and Tom yet. Someone's not going to make the cut. And I can tell you it is going to be a mega long evening. It's going to start at 12 o'clock and probably finish between 4 and 5 a.m. So many things I'm going to need to get some kip tonight. Hold on people, just look. That is beautiful. These orbs, glowing lights everywhere across the sky in the mist. Lovely. It's like aliens are coming to land. Ah, home sweet home. We got letters. Have we got the parcel arrived yet? We got a parcel for poker for a trophy. We have had a parcel. This is going to be the poker trophy. I've got to go and pick that up. When can I pick it up? 
No, I'm afraid there's no time for pussying about and sitting on my lap. I've got to go out and collect this poker trophy. And Gemma, I need you to come as well, please, because your name's on the list. We'll be about 20 minutes, babe. Bye, babe. Back on the road again. Hope there's not too much traffic. I want to be in and out and I want to get my food on, then get to the cinema. And I won't lie, I'm quite looking forward to seeing this little trophy we've ordered off the internet for the poker tournament. It's something that I'm very, very much looking forward to winning myself on the champion of champions table. The post office, as you'll know, is just up round the corner. Oh, we're down a dark, dark street. You've got to run in and get it, Gem. There's a bit of a queue going on in there. It's quite cold too. Gemma wants me to speak to her brother on the phone. Pass him over there. Okay. Hello, what do you need to know? I'm okay. Absolutely. Yeah, I've had like uh, over $500 on it in three weeks. Okay, thanks mate. I can't believe that after all that, driving all the way there, it's not even what we wanted. And anyway, that phone call was about five. It was like Gemma's brother wanted to know how Fiverr worked and stuff, so I had to explain. Deja vu. What are you doing to Gemma? Are you beating her up while she's on the phone? Good, keep beating her up. Oh, Beverly's got the dinner on, yay! And asparagus with butter, oh my god! Put your hands up if you're jealous of me. Not you two, obviously, because you've got some, but everyone watching this video. Right, there's a couple of films on, one called The Warriors, one called Megamind. We're not sure which one we're going to watch, but it starts in 15 minutes, so we're leaving now, just me and Beverly. Are you ready? And what the hell is that thing on your head? You're not a teapot. <laughs> Right, Gemma, I'll see you later. What are you doing playing poker, I bet? Yes, she is. Bye-bye! Oh, door's locked. Bye-bye! <laughs> this cinema pass thing you got me, babe, is one of the best presents I've ever had. I use it so much, like two or three times a week. And it's nice to have one when it's so dark out as well, because I like going to the cinema. Oh. <laughs> Cine World, which one are we going to watch? Unstoppable Harry Potter scene at The Warrior's Way, oh, I don't know. Monsters, we've seen it. Megamind might see that. That one's a great film, go and watch it. We got tickets to see Megamind, it's a cartoon, a PG one by DreamWorks, I think. Screen one, Megamind. Into the dark, turn off the camera now, cut. Please turn off your phone. Thank you. Ah, what's the time? There's nobody here, what's the time, babe? not even nine o'clock yet. That was a pretty good film. Classic DreamWorks, a bit like Shrek, quite funny. That Megamind character is played by Will Ferrell. He was hilarious. Ah, it's a winter wonderland out here. <laughs> yeah, you could actually tell it was Will Ferrell doing the talking. It wasn't his accent, but the way he says things in that, he proper ad-libbed the whole way through. Very funny, quite good, not bad, not quite Pixar though, is it? <laughs> I loved it how Megamind was mispronouncing loads of words. Instead of Metro City, it was calling it Metrocity. And instead of saying school, he said shul. It was quite funny, you'd have to be there really. <laughs> Anyway, I've never seen Newport this cold before. It's frozen over. There's no snow though, because there's been no clouds above us. It's just a big fog. It's white everywhere. And now, my lady, we are home once again. Ah, what a load of rushing about I've done all day today. So I'm going to finish up the video there. It's day 336. That's 29 days left to go. And 365. Thanks very much for watching. Tomorrow we've got Art Theory all day and the final of the Poker Society League. So make sure you tune in for that. It's going to be up late. I'll speak to you then. Bye. Oh, and also one last thing. I'm going to put that clip in again that I put at the start of the video. Watch it carefully. It's like 3D morphs in and out. I haven't edited it in the slightest. It's so weird what this iPhone camera does in low light and stuff. That's my face. It's like I'm a ghost or something. Watch. That is truly one of the creepiest things I've ever seen, Beverly. That's me, that is.